Hey yo, gazaimas. Actually, it's not. It's konbanwa, which is good evening to those that don't speak Nihongo, English, uh, Japanese. English translation is good evening. So today we're looking at, I um, don't know what you'd call it, maybe a um, sake juice box, something like that. Um, quite small in appearance, but uh, I found it near the uh, alcohol, the uh, sake and whiskey at the local 7 Eleven. So I assume it's some sort of sake or whiskey box. Uh, here it is. Here it's um, if you're from Australia, you'll know what a popper is. It, it's actually a popper here. You'll see the top. You'll see the back here has a straw which we can use to pop the top of. But uh, funny that it's like this because it was found in the alcohol section of the 7-Eleven. Uh, I thought I'd pick it up. It was only uh, about 100 yen. And the box looks pretty cool if you have a look here. Okay, 180 uh, milliliters there, so not too big. Probably only one standard drink if it's even alcoholic. So we're going to give it a go live on camera here. Popped off the uh, straw. Open it up. Here we have it here. So extend the straw. Zoop, zoop. Let's put it to max extension here. Pop the top. Buzz. Oh, doesn't want to pop. Let's pop it manually, shall we? There we go. Let's try and pop it. Try and uh, penetrate it this time. Fucking hell. There we go, penetrated. Let's try and suck out the uh, nectar from within this box. Hopefully you can see the box there. <coughs> mm. Definitely sake. <coughs> Definitely wouldn't want to put this in your kid's lunchbox, you know what I'm saying? They drink it. But, uh... They'd come home that day and say, I bet, why does it taste weird? You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Ah. Now don't look at me like I'm some sake connoisseur. But I mean, I'm saying what everyone else is saying, right? It tastes like fucking watered down soy sauce, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, work with me here. I mean, I don't even know how many standard drinks this is, but no worries, you could down this easily with a um, with a glass of water or something, you know, like. Um, trying to read it, not too easy, I don't speak Nihongo, I can barely read it, let alone translate it, so, I'd say it's borderline one standard drink right here, and I mean, it only costs, you know, 120 yen, so maybe it's worth it, especially if you're a poor person living on the poverty line, or a student that doesn't care about lying about their age. Uh, will it get you off the chop? Probably not. Maybe you need to order a couple of more. Um, not much to say. Top of it says Oni... Oni Karoshi, if you see that one there. Which maybe if you speak Nihongo, you know what it means. Flavors coming, not too bad. Would I drink it again? Yes, depending on the alcohol content. If it's not that alcoholic, I'm afraid not. 
if it's sufficiently alcoholized, probably not a real word, yes, I'd drink it again. Um, would I recommend it? First time sake drinker? Sure, no worries. The difference between sake and vodka or whiskey is sake is very drinkable, okay? Very drinkable, you can drink it. You won't get that gasoline, fucking light a match next to your throat, burn. Very subtle sort of a, hey, I'm alcoholic, I'm just saying hello, how you going? That's what a sake sort of a drink is, so a little popper like this, maybe if you're a um, pussy or something like that, maybe you drink this one. Entry level, give it a go see how it goes. This is room temperature. Sake comes in cold or room temperature or hot depending on the uh, how cheap it is. This is a good entry level sake. If you come to Japan, go to a 7-Eleven, find one of these little poppers, give it a go, see what you think. But it does taste like soy sauce. Uh, out of 10, Out of 10, I'd probably give it a um, solid 7, I'd say. I mean, it's very drinkable. Could drink a couple of these. Definitely need some sort of beer or uh, juice or something to drink it with. Couldn't just drink this, but um, you'd be surprised how many of these you can get through. And then you realize, uh, wait a second, uh, Japan should be an imperial empire, not a, um, you know, democratic union. Um, and then you start talking nonsense, like I am. But, uh, it's very drinkable, unlike vodka and whiskey, etc. So, um, instead of choosing a highball, if you don't like beer, you know, give this little, uh, sake popper a go. And see what you think. For me, 7 out of 10, Japanese flags. Wan, ichi, ni, sa, shi, go, rock. Sitch. Hodge. Out of ten.